Hello everyone. You're looking at the desert. It's a beautiful place. Is this gonna be maybe what 85 today? Oh yeah. I picked the desert for a reason. Hello, I hope you can see me. I'm gonna pull some of this down a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. You know my production value. I just hope you this comes out and I hope you can see me. I have some things I want to talk about. Reaching over. I made some notes. This is very important, I'm sorry. Today we're gonna to talk about the 1111 portal. We're gonna talk about energy, we're gonna talk about your abilities, psychically, your abilities. You are a magnet. Let me just read, please. We'll just go from there, okay? <clears throat> Regardless of what you believe, it exists. In human bodies it is an enigma, a riddle yet to be solved. Electricity runs through our body. Shoot. Da, 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 da. Even my writing, right? Electricity runs through our bodies. Waves of energy that can be projected at a target across the world. And that's serious business, people. Because it's happening right now. Just like that movie, that Staring at Goats. Yeah. You have the ability to send positive or negative waves depending on your charger. You know, what do you feed yourself, right? Negative or positive? Like I said, I was attacked yesterday by a, a novice, somebody who who's trying to tap into spirituality, but they're uh, they t they attack me with negativity. They're they're toxic. They have toxic inside them, and they projected it, and it and it affected me. Not much. I mean, I got over it. I have I'm very protected. I'm very good at protecting my body. I'm very good at diluting, and you know, exuding the negative that's hit. Music, we'll talk about that later, but music is a great way to, to heal the body when you're attacked. So basically, just like that movie goes, when I mean, people can see things on the other side of the world in a box, right? Well, you, everybody has this ability. Most people just are just so low vibration that it literally is like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like having plugs in the wall all over your house that you could just plug into and just lighten the room and you're using just an old flashlight because that's what you're just used to and you're comfortable with that flashlight instead of just illuminate the whole light. So basically, you are have the ability to attack somebody, which is which sucks. We're not going to talk about that because you're a Jedi. You're not a Sith. We want to talk about healing the world. We're going to talk about using your mind to project your loving thoughts, make sure they're loving, towards anybody in the world. You could, I could sit there and go, I can give Brad Pitt a mental hug, platonically, of course. You know, I'm not gonna say that about a woman because that's kind of creepy. But you know what I mean? I, you could, you could actually send love, just like I was psychically attacked on the negative yesterday. You can send love in that same manner. You can think about somebody. It, it's proven. Lovers, family members, you're thinking about somebody. You're just thinking about them, and they call you. They could be on the other side of the freaking world. One of my best friends that I've known since high school, we've, you know, broken apart because he's not as high vibration as he could be. But we had that bond. We had that bond as brothers. And, like, whenever I'd just, he'd, like, I'd call him and he'd go, what? Or, you know what I mean? He was thinking about me. Or I was like, I'd be thinking about him. And next thing you know, he'd call me and go, what do you want? And I'm like, what do you mean, what do I want? I was like, dude, you were just thinking about me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's that kind of shit, right? It was, it was weird. But, you know, you have that with lovers. That's why you have, you know. That's a lot of times when, that's why when you separate from somebody you connect with on that level, you know, intimacy, it really can fuck you up. That's basically it. It's kind of like a piece of yourself is disconnected and you can't, and you, and you know you want to think about that person, but you can't because that makes it worse. You, you know, that person has a hard time moving on because they're, they're being dragged back by your thoughts. I mean, if you want to send them love, you know, I, somebody I, you know, I had a rough time with and. It didn't work out, but I, I send her love and thoughts and hope she's happy, and that's it, you know. I just want them to be healthy, happy, and safe. That's how it should be. So, anyway, and there's another thing. There's a lot of weird, dark things going on in the world. People are initiating dark things. They're trying to use that 1111 portal to do a lot of shit, bring stuff in, negative stuff in. I'm not going to talk about demons from other worlds, but these people can conjure shit up they're horrible but dark magic exists just like the light but you just have the trick is to counterbalance it in a way that overwhelms it you think with happy thoughts with love 
and you, you project that. Like you do that um, Kung Fu Panda, skadoosh. You just like send the shockwave around the world of love. You have to focus. Part of being a Jedi is loving yourself too because you're confident. You believe in yourself. That's another step. There's, these are steps that you're going to have to learn to grow with. Everybody's going through the awakening that's listening to this or, or is out there that's in it. And you're going, it's baby steps. You're going to start off dealing with pain and suffering and loss. And, and you have, you're going to have to pull your energy away from everybody you know. Because a lot of people are still toxic. And that basically keeps you running at that low vibration. So you want to stay high. And you're going to have to heal. You're going to have to go through childhood traumas. You're going to have to look at your past and see everything. Go through everything. You're going to have to deal with ancestral curses, things that were given to you from your parents and their parents. And oh, yeah, the negative negativity, negative, you know, patterns, negative habits, alcohol, whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, physical abuse. These are all things you're going to have to heal from. But then once you get past that, you become the master. You are a Jedi. And that's when your power becomes really strong and your thoughts become weapons of love. We're not, and you could actually, what it, oddly enough, the more you vibrate high, it literally blocks the negativity from you. Like me, that dude that attacked me, it was it was nothing. He was a novice. But it, it hurt because I, I wasn't expecting it. It was like totally caught me off guard. But like 10 minutes later, I was good. And I was smiling again. It was nothing. But you have to remember, once you're a Jedi, you're going to you're gonna vibe so high that basically they won't be able to touch you. It's, it's, or, you know, and if you, if, it, if they do attack you, it's going to come back to them. Trust me, that person is not going to have a good damn week. <laughs> Trust me, it's not going to work out that way. Because the, the love you send will come back, and the negativity you send will come back. Remember that, too. Whew! I just had to say that before 11-11. I think that's important, especially with some dark shit going on, especially like that concert. That was really weird. I don't like that. Anyway, <clears throat> I want you to understand that you're awesome. I love you. God loves you, and the universe is really digging you. So we want you to take the high ground, do good, and think happy thoughts, and project them with love. To everybody you can think of okay all right have a wonderful day everybody